So basically, the more complicated you make your life, the harder it is to make changes. Well, of course, you know, I mean, if you get a backpack, you can uh, take any trail here and go. If you get a mountain bike, then you restrain your, your trails. If you get a car, then you can go off road. If you get a, a castle, you can go anywhere because you get to work to pay the bills. That's right. So it's all about that. But I mean, it doesn't mean for that when you're young, you don't want to go and achieve something that you want to achieve. It's all part of uh, growing up as an individual. So, uh, you know, what's the lesson? I don't know. I mean, everybody strikes for the American dream. It's nice to have it, the fancy car, the this, the that. But uh, one day when you have to make the change, it's a hard thing to do. So you don't do it. I don't know. I think I think you have to try it all in life. You know, it's a, it's a big lesson anyway. So uh, do it all. It's better to do it all than uh, always having regrets of not doing something. I mean, me when I was 20 year old, I went out and I opened a Arabic studio, and I, I I got very successful because nobody was doing it. It was a, you know very beginning of the wave of uh, doing Arabic exercise. And I, I open uh, eight places one by one by getting flyers on the street. I open one, and then I make money. I open another one, and I was the first one. By the time I was 23 years old, I made a few millions, and uh, I sold everything. I bought me a sailboat, and I did, did, I wanted to go see the world because I grew up in a tiny town and it was boring. Where are you I, from? Uh, Belgium. So I wanted to expand, you know. So it's what I did. I just went uh, free willies, you know, see the world. One day I fell in love with a girl. I went to, uh, to do uh, my entertainment in, uh, in the US. I got married, you know, got a green card. I could do my show, went on, and I, I spent 24 years doing the American dream, you know, and, uh, but it doesn't mean for that that the rest of my life is gonna be that, you know, you know, you know express yourself. I mean, because, you know, really, I mean, our life is about expressing who we are, and, uh, we, it's like, you know, I paint, I'm a painter, so in the same time, it's like, yeah, you can paint a nice painting like this, but one day you wake up and you think, oh, I'm gonna make one like this, and then one like this, and a bigger one, a bigger one. The bigger the painting, the hardest to sell it, because not everybody has big walls, but sometimes you just wanna go paint a big one to just, you know, see what you can do. So, I mean, you know, it's all about uh, going out there and and do your thing, whatever the thing is, you know. It's not about other people, it's just about you inside, how you feel and what you want to express, what you need to do for yourself. And what really genuinely makes you happy? Uh, you know, what should make you happy? I think, you know, people, we all have, you know, everybody like, I don't want to sound cliche, but everybody talks about fears, you know. Uh, you know, we all have fears because we're all sort of insecure, you know, we grow up and uh, we all have limitations so based on who we are and what we perceive in our life and do, whatever. But in the end of the day, I think for most people, we are afraid to, uh, to lose our freedom, you know, because that's a big thing to be free in life. But then society do everything to encourage you to uh, not have freedom. Because, you know, when uh, you watch TV, it's all about advertisement. You, uh, when you want to please your family, parents, uh, relatives, whatever, other people outside of yourself, or perhaps yourself, it's all about, uh, you know, maybe buying this, buying that, uh, complicating your life, having big career, big plans, big this, big that, make a lot of money. But then in the end, when you do this, you, uh, you, you, you know, you, uh, you're like the guy who, you go hiking and pick up every rock you see and like and then after a while you can't even go home anymore you know so what's home for you you know home for you is to feel happy that's right you know and uh, as long as you try to please other people is nice but in the same time you have to always be the one who please yourself first because uh, you know if you please yourself and you're a happy person then everybody around you is gonna feel good about it if you have good self-esteem if you're good about yourself about you know, overall, uh, it's just like if you have plenty of money. If you have plenty of money, then you can share it. If you have plenty of love for yourself, you can share it. If you have plenty of anything, you can share it. Because you're going to have so much that you can, you know, let it go to other people. And when you give it to somebody else, it comes back at you because anybody else is the mirror image of yourself. Whatever you look, if you look at this, if you're in a bad mood, you're going to say, fuck the snow, I hate it. 
I don't like snow, it's too cold here, blah, blah, blah. But if you feel good today, you're gonna look at it and say, oh my God, what's a wonderful place, you know? Once upon a time, somebody built this house and it was the house of their dream. And uh, a po to a point, they probably got tired of looking at the view and start feeling bad about themselves for whatever reason, maybe divorce, whatever, you know, whatever came in their life. And suddenly they just let it go to death. And then maybe somebody drive by like uh, you or me <laughs> and say, wow, let's Look how fix cool it. it is. Yeah. yeah, let's start something all over again, you know. So, but it's, you know, it's the story of life, you know, it's a full circle. As long as you always know inside yourself what makes you happy, it's what matters. Yep. Anything else, it's a diversion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, all our entire life, it's not outside of ourselves, it's in our head, it's in our perception, it's about, you know, what we believe, you know, and what we think it is, and uh, and the story you told yourself, because I always say to everybody, since I'm a young guy, I always say, life is the story you told to yourself and you want to believe, it's all it is. You can mm. walk around and think you're the king in the world if you believe it and it's good enough for you and you, and you really deeply believe it, it's great. It's who you are. You're the king of the world because you're your own, uh, the king, the king of your own kingdom. You know what I mean? So you don't. If you feel uh, whatever you believe, you don't need to have anybody reaffirming yourself that it, than it is. You know what I mean? Whatever you believe in life is. Yeah. If you believe it, you know it's good. You know you empower. You feel uh, you feel good to be who you are. You know that's all it is. But I mean, you know, life is simple, but we make it complicated. The problem is, is that we think happiness is something to go through success. So we run after the success thinking, uh, when we're gonna get the success, we're gonna be happy. But the good thing about it is that happy is not in the future, happy is right now. So if you can be happy right now from being wherever you are, you know, and enjoy and breathe and look around and hear and, and enjoy what it is, uh, if you're not able to do it now, what makes you believe that when you're going to get whatever you think in the future, that, that you're going to be able to be happy then? You see what I mean? Because happy is right now, leaving is right now. It's not about uh, tomorrow, you know, when you're going to be retired, you're going to do this and so on and so on. I think I always took life as, it's an experience. That's right. You know, when you think about it, life it's about, uh, you know, discovering who you are you know i read once something really great is that happiness was uh, your ability to uh, to have the power to change and that's really great because if you have desire in life and you don't have the power or the ability to do it then you feel stuck in a corner you're not able to do what you want so you're not able to have that freedom so it's to have the ability to have the power to change. I like that. You know, and I, that's a pretty good uh, lines that I read somewhere. Well, you thank know. you for sharing with us. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you, man. It's really cool to meet you. Hey, yeah, nice to meet you. All I right, think, take I, care. I took a lot. Huh? No, yeah, that's great. <laughs> it was words from the wise. Yeah. I love it. It was nice yeah, to meet you, man. Appreciate it.